The Ministry of Tourism will be inviting workers from the sector to tour some of Barbados's most popular attractions. The Barbados to Come From initiative seeks to educate locals about what the island has to offer. Speaking last Friday on the annual Flower Cave leg of the tour, Minister of Tourism Senator Lisa Cummings reiterated the point that the first tourist was a Bajan. When tourism reopens, and this is one of the key things that this particular initiative is about, when the sector reopens and people are traveling in the very first tourist, first our Barbadians in the meantime, and even after it reopens, because this is our ancestral heritage, this is a part of our patrimony, so we want Barbadians to see what our domestic tourism product offering looks like, so we're bringing them out. But more importantly, and equally importantly, I should say, we want Barbadians to be able to sell what is ours to others and to share what we have with others who visit us in our home. And so when our hotel workers are back in their properties and when our restaurant workers are back to work and they're dealing with our guests in all the various incarnations, we want them to be able to answer questions like, where should I go? What is Animal Flower Cave? I've heard about it. Where was someone else is in the north? As we were on the way here, we saw a large number of black belly sheep. That is part of the authenticity of this place, and I'm sure that many of you would have seen the sheep when they came, when you came in at the entrance as well. So we are going to be continuing with our integration of our local attractions and local products into the development of new tours and new product offerings when the tourism sector reopens. Excited children from the Good Shepherd Church camp and the Fun Music Workshop were invited to see the Animal Flower Cave, some of them for the first time, a member of Parliament for St. Lucy, Peter Phillips, was also part of the party.